here we're going to install the uh, KX driver for Kyocera printers and multifunctional photocopiers. First of all go to kyoceradocumentsolutions.co.uk support tab, download center and uh, we're going to choose the KX driver uh, signed and certified by Microsoft. So first of all we choose our device should be listed here. Process is exactly the same whether it's a printer or a multifunctional photocopier and we're looking for the KX driver so it doesn't matter which operating system you've got Windows 7, Server 2012 it'll be the same file agree to the terms and conditions and uh, the download starts I've sped this section up so you don't have to uh, watch, watch the download complete once it's downloaded uh, you find the download on your PC, so mine's arrived in downloads, and then extract the file. Click extract, hopefully it's going to end up in downloads as well for you. Sped this section up as well. Once it's extracted you then open the folder, go into the EN file, then look for a setup uh, with a symbol, CD symbol at the bottom, and this starts the Kyocera KX wizard accept the terms and conditions, uh, read the uh, resource and energy tabs and then go express install, highlight the driver package and highlight the machine and click install. Again I've sped this section up so don't worry if yours takes longer. Once it's, uh, once it's finished you'll have some checkboxes which you can either leave enabled or disabled on your own preference you don't need them enabled. So once you finish that's the driver installed and now we're going to set the default settings for the driver. So on your computer go to either control panel or devices and printers and then find the folder devices and printers. Uh, then highlight the new driver that's installed, go to properties, device settings, auto configure and this will check your machine to see if it's got extra cassettes added or staple units things like that. Once you've done that choose your print language. I like PCL5C seems to work really well. Once that's done you can lock the machine down to just ever print in black and white if it's a color machine or always print duplex. Once that's done go advanced printing defaults and here you can just default the machine to either be mono or color. Uh, first of all set the media type to auto media. There's the option for the color and then OK it. Once that's done, if you're sharing the printer on a server then give it a good share name. Only need to do this section if other people are going to print to this printer through your computer or you're installing this print driver on a server. So I've given it an example print name. Once that's done we'll list it in the directory so other people can search the printer out. So tick that box and then install the additional 86-bit uh, driver and we're going to go to the downloads and find that KX uh, driver folder that we downloaded earlier and go to the 32-bit folder and choose the file OEM setup and click OK. Once you click OK here, again I've sped this bit up, it's about a three or four minute process possibly. Once you've done that, I think we're all set, click apply at the bottom and OK and then we'll just try and print the test page to the machine. So printer properties and down the bottom print test page and hopefully you're going to see a, a test page printout on the machine and that's it you're all done.